Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my video. Today we'll be working on a 2015 Mini Cooper Countryman that has a coolant leak. Uh, I don't know um, where exactly this coolant leak is at the moment, but in this video we're going to see if we can find it. Uh, my sister called me this morning, and this is my sister's car, and she called me this morning and said that uh, there was a big puddle underneath her car, so she sent me a picture and <laughs> this massive trail of coolant just everywhere. So uh went over there with my dad and we topped it off with some distilled water and then I babied it home, made it no problem. It's been sitting here for a couple hours now and it's leaked like a drop. <laughs> so it's an intermittent leak. It didn't leak when we came back. And I have been noticing over the past couple of weeks that uh, coolant has been disappearing from the reservoir over there. So uh, there is a leak somewhere. It doesn't leak when it's sitting. As it hasn't leaked a drop in the driveway, it must leak while it's driving. So that's what I'm thinking. It's not burning it because the oil level hasn't increased and there's no milkiness in the oil as well. So it's not a head gasket issue, but I did peer behind the uh, air filter housing over there and saw that it was really wet. So I think that's where we're going to start focusing our attention. We're going to see what's leaking back there, maybe a heater hose or a a T-pipe, something something plastic back there, maybe split. We'll get to the bottom of it. I've peeked around uh, where the water pump is. Where the I've read that the thermostat housing is also a common place on these engines that leak. That all looks dry. The spot that I saw was the most wet was towards the back of the engine. So we're going to start focusing our attention back there to see if we can see what's going on. So I think we're going to start by removing the air filter housing so we can get access to behind the engine so we can see uh, a little clearer as to the heater hoses that are back there, or the clamps, the T-pipe, whatever, whatever's back there. I'm not super familiar with minis, so bear with me. <laughs> uh, it might take me a little while to figure things out, so <laughs> be patient with me, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Um, so let's start by removing the air filter uh, housing, and then we'll uh, get you in there and see what we could see. So I was wrong about it being from the thermostat housing. Uh, I was Once I removed the air filter housing, I was able to move these pipes out of the way, which helped me a ton to see down into where the thermostat housing is. I'll see if I can bring you guys in so you can see it. It's gonna be really hard to see, but move this pipe out of the way. This pipe out of the way. I don't know if you can see, but you kind of see the coolant glistening. There's a hose clamp down there. Come on, focus. Sorry about this. I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys. Anyways, uh, I won't be able to show you guys. You can kind of see it before, but the thermostat housing is kind of underneath all of this. Um, let me zoom out. All this stuff here. And I, uh, moving these pipes out of the way, I was able to see just a ton of coolant is pulled up. And I think what's happening is it's running down, back and down. And that's why it looked like it was leaking from uh, behind. All the heater hose connections all looked clean. And it looked like it was definitely coming from up here. So it looks like this uh, mini will need a thermostat housing, which I hear is quite a pain to get to, but <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, I think what I'll do is uh, once I have the part, I'll order one tonight. And once we have the part, uh, we'll film a video on how to do it. Uh, so I'll do some research on the process and the procedure, and we'll see if we can figure it out. And then we'll film a part two to this, and we'll do replace the thermostat housing gasket. So, uh, I think that'll be it for this video. Um, I hope this helped someone somewhat troubleshoot their coolant leak. Uh, but uh, if you have a thermostat housing gasket leak, 
it's going to be right down in there. So you got to move these pipes out of the way so you can see it and get access to it. And then you can confirm. And that'll be it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know and stay tuned for part two.